Some Christians believe that it's wrong to have any images of dragons. And they refer to Revelation 20 where Satan is called the dragon and the ancient serpent. But did you see that? He's called the ancient serpent, that's a snake. So should we also avoid images of snakes? Now before you say yes, be careful. Because the snake or the serpent is also linked to Moses and Jesus. In the desert, God commanded Moses to lift up a bronze serpent in order to heal Israel. Later, Jesus links himself directly to that bronze serpent. He said, As Moses lifted up the serpent to the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. <laughs> Jesus also tells Christians to be wise as snakes. So should we avoid serpent snakes because Satan is likened to them? Again, if we say yes, then why did Jesus link himself directly to the serpent? The answer is that there is no power in the animal or image itself. They are just symbols that are sometimes used for good and sometimes for evil. And they have no power unless you worship them. Now the same can be said about images of lions. You know Satan is likened to a lion. He is called the roaring lion seeking to devour. Should we therefore avoid the images of lions? Again, no, because Jesus likened himself to a lion. He's called the Lion of Judah. So how can we make sense of all this? Well, remember that God is King and Creator of everything. All animals and symbols are His, and He can use them any way He chooses. Images of animals are just that. They're images and they have different symbolic meanings at different times. But we must be careful not to give them power by worshipping them. Here's a great example. Years after Moses, King Hezekiah had to destroy that bronze snake. Why? Because the people had begun to worship it. So you see there's nothing wrong with the image itself. The problem comes when people begin to worship images. In fact, Paul taught that idols are nothing. But when one worshipped the idol, they gave the idol power and so they were worshipping demons. He said, Do I mean that food sacrificed to an idol is anything? Or that an idol is anything? No! But the sacrifices of pagans are made to demons not God, and I do not want you to be participants with demons. Now, here's a great example of images and statues being used by Solomon in a good way in God's temple. We read that he carved on the walls of the temple all around, both the inner and the outer sanctuaries, figures of cherubim palm trees and open flowers. Outside the temple there was something called the sea and it stood on the back of twelve oxen. So Solomon had many images but God accepted them. And how do we know he accepted them? Well because his glory filled the temple. But perhaps you are thinking, wait a moment, don't the Ten Commandments outlaw images? Well, actually not. The Ten Commandments outlaw the worship of images, not the images themselves. We read, You shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above, or in the earth beneath, or in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them, nor serve them. Again, the worship of the images is condemned, not the images themselves. Bear in mind that if you are overly strict with this command about images, then you cannot have any images at all. No passports, driver's licenses, 
photo albums or even Bibles with pictures of Jesus because all of these are images. But God allows these things as long as we don't worship them. The bronze snake Moses made was no problem until Israel worshipped it. And the bulls, angels, etc. in the temple were acceptable because the people were not worshipping them. They were worshipping God. And in the same way, t-shirts, posters, books, logos with dragons, snakes, lions, etc. are fine as long as you don't worship them or use them to encourage sinful behavior. Last two points. Paul taught the early Christians that they could eat food sacrificed to idols because idols are nothing. The point is there's only one God. He is King and we worship Him alone. All images are nothing. They're just images. And finally, Paul the Apostle would not be stopped by idols. He traveled on a ship with the figurehead of twin Greek gods. Paul knew that idols and images have no power. They were nothing. So he ignored them and he used this pagan vessel to spread the gospel. So dear brothers and sisters, our God is the greatest. Don't give images power, live in faith, not fear.